Hi, I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. Now, enjoy the video. For 40 years, paddle-driven boats have parked on the banks of the Ohio River for the annual Stern Wheel Festival. But actually, these boats have been docking here for hundreds of years. An integral part of the formation of America, Marietta, Ohio has been a huge shipbuilding town located just down the river from the industrialized hub of Pittsburgh. What is it about this festival that brings people back every year? Because you said people come year after year, so why do they love it's it? It's our heritage too. You know, it started out the pioneer city. We are the first established uh, city in the Northwest Territory, Marietta. Oh, and how wow. did they come down this river on a flatboat? And then after we had the steam engine, uh, like 50 years later, they were coming down in paddle wheels. And so it's a little bit of history. I mean, this was the first superhighways. This is what brought the people here and then transported them westward. They were building ocean vessels here in the early 1800s that would go to Cuba, up the coast, and like to Philadelphia. You know, one of the things that Jen and I love about our job is going to events like this places that preserve history and glorify their heritage. Boats down there draw a lot of people. They're, they're really cool to have here, and then all the excitement and everything that's going on downtown is wonderful. While Rodney joins the throngs of festival goers in search of the perfect funnel cake, I've decided to go on a little fact-finding mission myself and try to answer the great mystery of the day. So when I got here, I was saying the wrong thing. What's that? He's calling it a paddle boat. Well, people call them stern wheelers. They call them paddle wheels. Paddle wheels. Some people call them river boats, but that's probably a person that's never been on one of these. So what's the difference between all of them? Help me with the bright protocol. Um, it's like, what is a river boat? River boat's probably, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Wait, if you don't know, if you're, she's the president. If she doesn't know, I feel much better. Okay, so I heard later that Stephanie told someone, I knew the answers. It's just like in school when the teacher asks you and then you go blank. I'm guessing it's kind of like a big family. It is, everyone's super nice. Um, everyone helps each other when you come into dock. Everyone's just great. Is it kind of always a work in progress? Always, yeah. always, yeah. yeah. And every boat is different. Everybody has their own ideas. So what you think it looks like on the inside, you go in and you know, it's just, has their own look. See, so. I haven't been inside one yet. Well, you should. Well, that sort of answer that question, yeah, or does it? Yeah, um, anyway, we found oh, Captain fun. Bill Price, and he has been kind enough to escort us onto his hand-built luxury liner, the Lauren Elizabeth. Oh, wow. This, this is my son, Steve. Oh. Hey, Steve. Hi. How are you? I'm Jan. Jan, nice to meet you. Hey, Steve. Rodney. Rodney, nice Gosh, to meet you. Gosh, this is nice. Wow. It's got a chandelier. Oh, my God. I was not expecting this. Was you? A chandelier. You built the whole thing from scratch. Every so you got the, from you ground, got the base, ground up. And then you just started building up and designed it all the way started you wanted. Started with angle iron and wow. totally built her. How long did it take? Ten years. <laughs> Okay, not only are some of these nicer than most houses that I've lived in, it's nicer than the house I currently live in. The Lauren Elizabeth isn't just for a casual river ride. This thing has all the creature comforts of a five-star hotel. Full kitchen, two full bedrooms, three full baths, and of course, a fool at the wheel. This feels pretty good, Jan. Oh. I don't know if I could drive this. <laughs> no, you couldn't. <laughs> Well, that, is, that isn't the way you drive it. No, it's not. That, that's our anti-theft control. Oh, is that just for look? <laughs> yes, that's just for look. It is. Just for look. Put that on there for the little girl to play with. Well, there you go, Rodney. You've been playing with it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You know, I can see with Bill and, and his son Steve that, you know, this river life is in their blood. I mean, it's kind of like tractors are to me and farming is to me. These guys love it. Well, gosh, guys, this has been fun. Thank you so much. Certainly welcome. This was a lot oh of fun. Oh, my gosh. Glad, glad to share it with you. Maybe you'll Maybe. invite Jan and I to take a ride with you sometime. I know. Like a little... Yeah. I mean, it's cool to be on it right now when it's yeah, docked, but we... I'd love to have that trip. Tomorrow, tomorrow races. <laughs> oh, tomorrow's the race. Yep. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. I know. Wow. Oh, now that's where the captain sits, I think. The real captain. 
Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.